In my last film I explained how the rivers and streams that meander through the surrounding countryside can often contain clues left behind by our ancient ancestors. Since prehistoric times, water sources have been the lifeblood of tribes and communities that grew up around the streams and rivers that flowed across the landscape and through the woodlands of Britain. During ancient times it was common practice for the people to make deposits to the rivers into the streams to appease the gods. This was often done to celebrate a great year with a great crop or even to encourage there to be good luck for the next year coming. but there's absolutely no doubt that in ancient times people feared gods, believing that they controlled the sun and the moon and even the seasons. Well now I've returned once again to the river that flowed through the ancient settlement of Warburton, which saw occupation from prehistoric times and culminating in a settlement by the Romans themselves. Now, as the summer takes hold and river levels drop dramatically, it's time to search the riverbed through the gravels and the sands, looking for artefacts left behind by our ancient ancestors who once lived and worked at the settlement here in Warburton. Digging deeper into the riverbed is just like digging back in time, looking for evidence left behind. Look at this amazing flint tool I found in the bottom of the river after digging for just 10 minutes into the riverbed just below the footings of the bridge. This goes to prove the prehistoric man was using the river and hunting nearby. This tool would have been used for cutting or for scraping. Every artefact recovered during my research adds another piece to the jigsaw of history, giving us a clearer picture of what was happening hundreds if not thousands of years ago.